Hey everyone, this is Todd from Gorilla. We're here today to go over some of the new features on our Alpha Connect 2.0 controller, which is featured on our Mammoth Vertical Smoker. This is the Alpha Connect 2.0 controller. It has all the same cooking modes that you're used to with our Alpha Connect 1.0 PID and Pro. But what we've done is we've added capacitive touch, we've added a color LCD, you know, decorated this control panel really nicely using what's called in-mold decorations. You'll never have to worry about this becoming damaged or wearing off. It'll last far longer than the lifetime of the grill. We have four buttons on the controller. We have power button, we have scroll button, and then we have selection arrows. These here are your two meat probe ports. Once you plug in the Mammoth and the Alpha Connect 2.0, your power icon is going to flash, indicating that the controller is in what we call standby mode and it's waiting for input. So to power on the Mammoth, you simply touch the power button and you're going to see a pop-up menu. It says push and hold the power button for five seconds to turn on the Mammoth or push and hold the scroll button for five seconds to enter Wi-Fi setup. Now the reason for this is to prevent unwanted button presses or accidentally turning the grill on, you know, when you're not around. Could be, you know, debris, water, snow, something like that if you don't have it covered. So that's the purpose of this startup menu. So we'll go ahead and hold the power button for five seconds. And now you're in your general display. You have your current temperature, target temperature, timer, probe one, probe two, and then PID mode or pro mode, depending on which cooking mode you select. So if you don't enter any inputs after a few seconds, the grill will just run with whatever you have there. In this case, it's the default 180. So to change a setting, you just hit the scroll button and the scroll button will take you through all your different settings. So your target, cook mode, and you can select cook mode with the arrows, timer, hour, timer minute, and that's it. So the scroll button basically takes you through each setting, and there's only a few settings. If you, if you select pro mode, you're going to see adjustments for RTD offset, meat probe offsets, and auger feed rates, which is common to our Alpha Connect 1.0. You don't have to save your settings in terms of your target temp. You just select your target and you can walk away. You don't have to do anything. It will save it in and you're ready to go. On our Alpha Connect 2.0 controller, if you do need, for instance, to change from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, just simply touch and hold the scroll button. When you hear that second beep, release, and you'll see your display has changed to degrees Celsius from degrees Fahrenheit. Change it back, just push, listen for that first beep, release, and you're back to degrees Fahrenheit. If you, for any reason, wanted to do a factory reset on the controller, what that's going to do is it's gonna wipe away all saved data on the controller. Wi-Fi network, passwords, those types of things that are saved on the hardware. So to do that, you need to have the grill on in this uh, display here with the grill running, and you're gonna touch and hold the scroll button and you're gonna listen for that second beep and now listen for your third. When you hear the third beep, release the scroll button and a menu's gonna pop up and it says factory reset. Press up arrow to confirm, press down arrow to decline. So to confirm this, you're gonna to wanna to push, release, push, release twice, the up arrow to confirm it. To decline it, just push the down arrow once and that will maintain, that will perform the factory reset on the Alpha Connect 2.0. To power down the unit and to pause is the same button, the power button. A, a short press of the power button will put the grill into pause mode, which is a feature we have on Alpha Connect 1.0, found on our Silverback and Chimp. And to come out of pause, you just touch the power button again. Now, if you do not do anything after putting it in pause mode, Within five minutes, the grill will go back to its normal target temperature, which you had it set to. To power off the unit, just simply touch and hold the power button, and it will go into the shutdown cycle. And within 15 minutes, your grill will, will cool off the unburned pellet. And here it's displaying that you're shutting down. 